And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Vi Elusives. All right, kind of moving away for a control deck for the first time today. This is more my speed. We are going to be aggressive here with our elusive base, you know, Blade Scout, Duo, Conspirator, Shadow Assassin, right? Like we have we have the these Ionia cards that we know are good, know we can do damage. And we're supporting them with two really powerful champions with Vi and Zed. Now, neither of these champions have Elusive themselves, but with splashing PNZ, we also get to splash Sumpworks Map. And Sumpworks Map, granting an ally Elusive, if we use that on a Zed or a Vi, that can be a ton of damage and just be really good support for the rest of the Elusives. All right, rounding out the deck, we have some buff. We're going back and playing Inspiring Mentor again to buff up our Elusives a little bit because we, we want that one drop that we want to recall with the Conspirator. So we got that uh combo and uh also jewel protector you know they can also buff up our um elusives as well or buff up zed or vi um there too and then we have our four minute interaction we can slow our opponent down with will of ionia and concussive palm to give us some extra time to win we can use spirits refuge as protection or also lifesteal against the noxus decks to gain a lot of life especially with something that's buffed with protector or with vi and then we also have denies to stop a harrowing or a vengeance or a ruination or you know anything big like that finish it all off we have a top end we have the windfair hatchlings that can uh, buff everything up also to finish games out and that's our deck all right bye elusives this looks pretty sweet i i feel like this is gonna be good yeah homer says i'm stoked on this list yeah i'm i'm pretty excited about this one too i think we're gonna do well I'm interested to play, like, um, even Inspiring Mentor. Like, that's a card that I haven't played in a really long time. I'm, I'm wondering how Inspiring Mentor is going to act with it just giving the plus one, plus zero. Um, all right, we're playing as Noxus Elusives. We could keep, like, the Refuge Vi and play, like, a slower game and try to have the Lifesteal Vi. That may not, that may not be bad. Maybe we'll do that. We'll still draw three cards by turn two, looking for a two mana card. Those were not good cards to draw. Really? All four mana cards, huh? Still not good. Another four mana card? Darkness. We're just four for four drawing four mana cards. Can't be good. <laughs> they follow the Lord Master. And they can have twin disciplines. It's possible I shouldn't attack to try to protect this, but. I think I I think this isn't a matchup like where we can just sit back forever, so I, I think that we have to just get the damage in and just hope they don't have twin disciplines. That's okay. We'll take a two for one. We spend three mana, they spend five, and we take two damage. I will take that. Um, yeah. Get a Palmer, Palmer will. We'll go Palm, because then Palm will block the 2 1. Now, do we just throw down. Sorry, I just had something in my eye. Do we just throw down by and. Um, try to challenge. We had one more mana, of course. Hang on, hey. Time for a leap of faith. Full speed ahead. Don't want any 
Yeah, I didn't drop Greenglade the, the round before because I was saving the three spell mana because I wanted to maybe be able to protect Vi, you know, like if we have like a Twin Disciplines or something, you know, like I didn't drop it the turn before one of that spell mana, but it just ended up not working. Really don't think we're supposed to draw what? what five cards, six cards, six cards that cost four mana. Do we do we even have any more cards that cost four mana in our deck, or do we draw on every single one of them? We have ten in our deck. It's kind of a lot. Kind of a lot of those. Plus, we have too many cards to cost four mana. We've drawn seven out of the ten. Yeah, there's still two palms and one little Ionia. Worst case scenario is they have the recall. I didn't want my. I basically just didn't want the Vi to take the two damage to have like the two damage on it. Um, which is why I cast that right there. I didn't want to like always have like the two damage on it and then we're like constantly trying to uh, protect it. And stuff like that. <sighs> but obviously they didn't work out perfectly. Now it's just going to have the two damage on it. Because now I'm too worried about doing that play again and them having another Noxion Fervor with all these things costing four mana. So now I'm, I'm more careful of keeping Deny available. never have it's, it's really awkward having all these spells cost four and you and you keep three mana so it's just we're never in like a good spot you know like now we're at seven mana so i can't have two of these things again to have that block the 4-5, so even if they do have Noxion Fervor, the, the, uh, their thing would stay around. Uh, 
Okay, we'll have enough mana for Windfair Hatchling plus these other things. Afterwards. And looks like we're finally stabilizing. Like that, you know, that gain a whole bunch of life definitely help us. And, um, you know, looks, looks like we're going to get this game from here. Denies being really good protection towards things that they could draw that would keep me from winning. Scared. They just have, like, random decimates and stuff like that. Do not fear the shrouded path. What are those two cards that they have in hand actually are? They're just not playing. Okay, one's a Crimson Disciple. Okay, GG's. It's a good win. Mine stands for victory. Noxus Elusives is definitely like we won the strongest elusive decks, and us drawing what we thought was pretty poorly with all of our four mana spells, but still having the power to win that, um, even with that, you know, even with the poor draw. Definitely a good sign of how powerful our deck is. Buy is really good. Buy is really good. But yeah, that's true. We did. Yeah, that's true. That's a good call there. Choo uh, choo, choo choo. That's a great call. That my original plan, whenever I was mulliganing, was Vi plus Spirit's Refuge. Right, I kept both of those, thinking that could be a good plan, and eventually that plan worked out. It's just, it took a while to work out, but eventually it did. I'm worried about keeping, you know, I wonder if we just have too many spells in general. I don't know. Worried about keeping Conspirator when we have nothing to pick up with it. What do we have? So we have 20 followers, 20... Or no, so 26 units, 14 spells. Wow, we only have 14 spells in this deck? These two games we've drawn, like... You know what? Six of our first seven draws last game were spells, and now, you know, Mulligan and, like, the first five that we see are spells. And it's... The deck's about 36% spells, approximately. Thirty-six percent is not that many percents. And yet we're all drawn all of them. Um Z or Vi. Unfortunately we drew both of our Sumpworks maps. That's the if I had to choose one card that I don't want to see whatsoever against a control deck, it's some force map. And so, un unfortunately, we did draw both of those. There's always one. I felt like if I played Vi, they would have Vengeance for it, and I wouldn't have, like, Deny or anything else to stop that. That's a very poor, bad Cattle Surveillance by my opponent. They should just wait. I'm obviously going to attack, deal two damage, then they could gain that life. So they could just be at 20. They just chose to be at 18 instead of 20, which is odd. Hey, welcome, Cabo. You're back from lunch. Good. Get, had a had a good lunch. Very nice. Come on in. Yeah, I agree with you, Choo Choo. That I, I don't think this is these two games are what our decks all about. It's just we've had some really bizarre draws. Nice, you cooked a steak for yourself and had a big salad. That's awesome. Some good, good chef skills right there. Yeah, 
take a steak and salad any day of the week. Withering Whale. I have many faces. Let's talk about your tap. I figured out how to play Catalyst of Aeons this time. Vault Breaker with like a leveled up Zed could be super exciting at some point. Not, you know, probably wouldn't happen this game, but you know, it could be like a time where you just like spent, put a whole bunch of money, money, mana, put a whole bunch of mana into, uh, into Zed Vault Breaker. That could be something that we do. What's the, so yeah, what's the card that, stand together. man, what am I saying? What's the meal that y'all wouldn't mind having once a week? Saying like, so here's a steak and salad, first says lasagna. saying hot wings. A couple people saying sushi. Welcome to the tipsy house. Tempo play. Gotta spend six mana if they want to play it again. A storm approaches. Can I? Kill them next turn with like double Sumpworks map. Surprise. Let's double soar. Sumpworks map surprise. How much mana? Okay, so I can have 13 total mana next turn.
has a sound. So I still have 10 mana. We have the deny for the ruination. That would put me at six mana. Double Sumpworks map would put me down to two mana. Wish I wish I had a three. So okay, so this puts me to six mana. Here's the fun part. Wish we would have. Wish I had a seven man. I really wish I could have deny and twin disciplines. <laughs> All right, it worked. Can't touch this. Can't touch this. Do 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 do. Got the perfect fizzy moat there with the shimmy. Yeah, that was fire. That was a good win. What was it? Pasta. We were talking about mac and cheese yesterday. I could easily have mac and cheese once a week. Especially there's so many different types of mac and cheese. I could have like a I could have like a burrito once a week or pizza. Or sushi. Gotta get some cheaper things. Explosives primed. You wouldn't know that we're playing six one drops. We haven't drawn a single one of them either game. <laughs> <laughs> We've drawn a lot of cards. We've drawn like half of our deck both games. We haven't drawn any of the one drops. We're playing six one drops. You wouldn't know. You just think that all of you just think our curve was just horrible and all of our cards are super expensive. That's all it looks like. So it looks like it. looks like we are going to be getting a run over this time. They had a good curve. The order rewards its faithful. Play my part. Okay, so we'll go double concussive palm this turn. I block here, I take four damage and go to three. That's kind of rough, so I'm going to do this block. Take five, or like, take two, go to five. Come on. 
Well, I can't challenge. I have my orders. I don't need a Coming at ya. So I can't challenge the the four one because they just use a spinning axe and then kill my Vi. So then they played that two one, so I could challenge that thing. Let's do this. Ride for Noxus. I have to block this thing, because if I don't, it's lethal. It's just... No. Very slight chance of that work. Just... We're three for three with playing games with super slow hands with our deck. That was the fastest game we had. That was the first time we had the three drop. Right? Or do we have Zed on turn three? First game? I guess we had Zed on turn three the first game. Braum Swain. Hey, how about that? How about that? We found a one drop. That's crazy. Yeah, so we have six, six out of 40. What's six out of 40? That's 15%. So 15% of our deck is one drops. <laughs> and we finally found a one drop after, I don't know. I don't know how many cards. What did we see, like 40 cards or so before? Oh, I can't wait. I know a way. So now I'd like to play this again. Bring me tea to gain the strength of rivers. I hope they don't have removal for my Zed. My training is unconventional. Honestly, probably playing Blade Scout's better here. But I like I like going Blade Scout with the Jewel Protector. Inspiring mentor, you used to be so good. You used to give plus one, plus one. That would have been a lot better as a 6 5 Zed. <laughs> I mean, I could have, I could have uh, spread it out more, you know, like I could have done like the like plus one to three different things. That's probably, I mean, that's the smarter play, I guess. I went, I went the greedy play of like having a huge Zed. Um, yeah, I guess I should have gone with the smarter play. Noxus is just impossible to beat, isn't it? They'll never see me coming. The 
Or so 17. Ugh. I'm way too greedy with the Zed. General. Nah. You don't need to. How can Brom help? Ooh, tell the one about your door again. You'll thank me later. So we're going to need to bounce Swain. Leave them nothing. I love a taste of the action. My turn. Let's take this outside. Witness strength. I wanted to do that during combat. spell we can deny something like transfusion we can't fury the north oh burst I think this is still only 9 damage. Right? 5, 6, 7, and 8, 9. Yeah. I really needed to. I mean, I messed this game up with the Inspiring Mentor. I really needed to spread that out. Um, I really need to spread that out. That was me being greedy. So this is just 9 damage and they're at 10. Nah, doesn't even matter. I didn't I just didn't I didn't think the, the Brahm Swain deck was just gonna have the removal for my 6-2, but they did. By my hand, the Noxus rise. Lead us to victory, Grand General. <laughs> We are at war. My shield is my slut. This is fun, yes? Striking their foundations. <laughs> Still taking five. Okay, two and two. How that game would have looked if I would have made both of my two twos into three twos and just the Z into a four two. Wonder how that game would have looked. All right, we're gonna do that this time. We're gonna spread the. Pump around. I'm not gonna, especially against the control deck. I definitely want to spread it around against the control deck.
says you. All right, what are we pumping up? The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. You'll thank me later. They'll never see us coming. It's like they're already going to be really incentivized to kill Zed. Vi's already getting pumped up. Hatchling's forever away. Kind of like making the Jewel Protector a 5-4. Oh, I love this. Man, I love that trade. Love that trade. The problem with making Jewel Protector a 5-4 is uh, Clump of Wumps, if they have that card. So they immediately have it right after. Yeah, that chump lumps. And they just immediately had it right away. Here comes the punchline. Well, it's good having that be a 5-4 against Vi. we were like drawing all those spells previously this would be a good time to draw some spells where did all the spells go Not too confident in this game. I do like Jewel Protector, though. I do like how Jewel Protector can buff, can buff up some stuff. Um, you know, it's not great against Will of Ionia, of course, but... I don't blame you. you know. That's how it is. The problem... Also, is I, I really don't want to play 4-4 four, four against Vi. Lining up for them. Where's our denies? Where's our spells? Remember, like the first two games, we we just drew all spells. There's a spell. Not, not the worst spell. Take down Vi, or just put put Vi back in their hands. I mean. Reset their Vi. Nope. At least we're still trading. Why? 
Why? Why did I have to have the very best card against Jewel Protector every time I try playing Jewel Protector? Gross. I don't like it. The order rewards its faithful. We got two huge threats in hand. Why does it say Vi's Vault Breaker plus two plus zero? That's weird. Aquabot! Thank you, Aquabot. Thanks for the do little donation there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, send, put the... Aquabot, put the uh, deck list here in chat. I'll take a look at it after this game. Peace begins within. Five out of eight. I don't want to waste the pump that Hatchling gives right now. I'm doing this my way. Thank you. Yeah, I'll. I'll uh... Oh, it's Aquilabot. I will check that out after this game. Can't stop me. We'll go over it. Why does it say Vi's Vault Breaker plus two plus zero? That's gotta be just a bug, right? It certainly feels like that's a bug. Yeah, totally a bug. I was thinking. Chumplump lines up. We have killed one Ezreal. Did we kill the Vi? Yeah, they had a Vi, right? Yeah. We killed one Ezreal, one Vi. They have these two champions here. So if these two champions die, they only have one more champion in their deck. Either a third Ezreal or a second Karma. It's got to be a second Karma. Because the biggest strength of Karma is having two of them. I don't know why I'm doing that instead of this. I was doing the one extra damage, but I probably should be doing this one. So then they they bounce their bouncing jewel protector. Should be doing that one. And yeah, they got the other. Uh. Wait, I thought we already killed an Ezreal. How do they have so many champions? Wait, am I crazy? Three, four, five, six. I guess. No, I guess they could have another Ezreal.
All right, so playing through, I was I was definitely excited to try inspiring mentor, inspiring mentor again, but and you know like we had it twice, and so I was excited about it for those games, but honestly it did nothing, right? Like the plus one plus zero, they just use removal, and then that buff does nothing, and the one two body doesn't matter at all, right? Like the one two. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. Um, you know, it's just gonna die to, to something. And so, like, that's that's what we've kind of found with Inspiring Mentor before, and I was excited to try it again, but yeah, it really did nothing for a card. Um, but yeah, like, the, the Vi part of our deck was cool. That part was good. And a lot of these spells were pretty good. It seemed like we had maybe too many. I kind of would want to try this maybe without like Concussive Palm or Will of Ionia or like, you know, cutting down on those and getting like another threat in, you know, like the 3-2, when you're, when you're playing like the elusive deck, the 3-2 isn't that valuable. I don't know. I don't know what we were missing, but we were missing something. Like we were missing more consistent early game. Like we have, we have four, four cards that we can play before turn three, you know, 12 cards. Which seems okay, but the Conspirator requires you to have one of the one drops. I don't know. Um, we need like one other good one drop in these two regions, and we don't have one. Like, Inspiring Mentor is not it. That's what it felt like. And unfortunately, PNZ doesn't really offer any protection like it may have been better just to be playing like some burn spells right like mystic shot get excited they can help finish the game out maybe i don't know maybe this would be a good solitary monk deck Considering we, we basically hardly ever had anything turn one or turn two in play. So maybe this would be a decent solitary monk. Yeah, we need we need one other I mean Green Glade Duo is a great like Blade Scout's a really good one drop, Green Glade Duo is a really good two drop. Could really use another good one or another good two, and we just don't have it. You know, when you play when you play Noxus with Ionia, you get more good two drops. When you play, um, and even just a better one drop with the the two one fearsome. And when you play Freljord, you at least get Omen Hawk, which is a much better one drop because that that the buff to the health is really important. And I wish this buffed health, but it doesn't. Yeah, I mean, we could play, like, Kempunk... I mean, the the two drops, just they're not elusive, right? So, like, you could play, like, Kempunk Pickpocket. It's not going to be an elusive thing. Um, that's, like, the best one, I suppose. That's not elusive. Um... I don't know. I don't know if we're supposed to be playing like Wayfinder or Lifeblade. Honestly, for how this deck is with 35 Ionia cards, it probably should be a Wayfinder deck. Right? Like that maybe that would make No, because then this thing this thing's not a good hit off of Wayfinder. Maybe not. I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't have a great I don't have great suggestions of like things to change. Does that make sense? Like I don't I don't know exactly what to do. And just to say that I like like while the Vi while the Vi was really good, I just feel like this deck's a lot better for elusives. 
I think that just Omen Hawk is just, you know, much superior to Inspiring Mentor. Elixir of Iron is amazing at being a really cheap protection spell for your stuff. Fury of the North is a busted pump spell that, you know, can either finish games with your elusives or, you know, be a protection against a removal spell that does just tons of damage to them. And, you know, Sejuani and Vi are very similar. Um, you know, Vi is probably a little bit better, but they're very similar cards that do a lot of damage and really good champions. And so I just, I think this is just a lot better version of the same deck. But that's good to, it's good to try stuff out though. You know, like I would have, you know, I wouldn't, wouldn't have really known that before I, you know, I was, ex like I said, I was expired. I, yeah. I was excited to play Inspiring Mentor and really see how that card acted, um, but didn't didn't uh, didn't hold up. And I was exp I was excited to do the Sumpworks map, the Sumpworks map with the Zed and with the Vi. We did get that sneaky win against the Brahmanivia deck with the Sumpworks map, so that was pretty cool. How we got like that, we got to sneak that one in there. Um. So that was cool. Well, yeah, it's all it's all about learning. It's all about trying new things, learning, and just continuing to really that continue to learn and um, expand and get better. And so good good to learn instead of just playing the one deck over and over. You know, like if we play Elusives, we always play that other one and and never because then you'll never find you'll never find out if there's something better without trying. But that's it here for Vi Elusives. Those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Also, of course, always feel free to leave those comments. If you have any uh, good suggestions for this version, feel free to, to leave them over in the comments. Or if you're trying it yourself, you know, feel free to let me know how it's going. But thank you so much for watching some Vi Elusives, and I'll see you for the next video.